Today, planet Earth has half the number of trees that we had on a natural state before we started agriculture as humans. We've cut down half the number of trees that we had 12,000 years ago. And every year we're harvesting 15 billion trees. In the US alone, there's 84 million tonnes of sawdust generated each year. And a large percentage of that could be recaptured and reused in 3D printing. Wood manufacturing has traditionally been a subtractive process. You start with a tree and you cut it down to the shape that you want. One of the very exciting things about added manufacturing is that you can achieve geometries that you couldn't pursue before. We're taking sawdust and building up new objects layer by layer. So we're adhering the particles of sawdust together with an environmentally friendly matrix. The mere fact that it's built in layers mimics the wood itself. You could stain it, lacquer it, and it would look indistinguishable from the equivalent piece of real wood. And what I love about this, this is making these things available to everyone at an affordable price without having to destroy nature. These are the fundamental criteria of Cradle to Cradle. As a designer, you have an additive approach, one that could assemble perfectly, one that can have shapes and forms that are very unusual and impossible to make by hand. That is going to open up all kinds of new creative possibilities. In terms of applications, they're really endless. There are so many applications where we use polymers and plastics today where you could now use wood. So we're talking about high volume industrial throughput manufacturing of end use wood parts, whether they're furniture, aircraft interiors, or automotive interiors, or home goods that would go in a traditional retail store. Wood can be shaped into almost any form. It's possible to make structures and shapes that could not be made any other way. It's a strong, durable, resilient material. There's really no limit. <laughs> I think you can make anything. Being able to use a new technology and think anew about uh, the possibilities of what can be done with wood is, um, is very exciting. Desktop Metals' mission is to bring added manufacturing into mass production. We do it with metals, with photopolymers, with elastomers, and now we're doing it with wood. We're using technology to solve one of the world's most urgent problems. This reminds me of the wonderful quote from Arthur C. Clarke where he said, any technology that is sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. And I think this technology is indistinguishable from magic.